You're putting a you're putting a whole nother statement out there though. You're saying, oh, they went and got Enzo Maresca. Well, hold on a second. We're talking about Pochettino here. First of all, right, let's right, get right. through Pochettino. Because because Enzo Maresca is a different subject. Okay. So if you want me to talk about Enzo Maresca, we could talk about that. But no, we, don't we, bring we, up we Enzo can, we can as, a, as a, a linchpin on this conversation, though. Don't bring it in as a linchpin well, because, well, because I don't what agree. I'm saying is that you, you, I'm, what I'm trying to, uh, we're going to talk about Enzo Maresca, but what I was bringing him on for a second was the reason was because it's not like you, how many other, what other manager could you have gotten that is a, a, a top elite manager uh, that put so you that believe he's do a top elite the manager. You believe he's a top Pochettino. elite manager. Yes. I think that he is one of the most wanted managers out there. Uh, sure. Elite, then why does he, he not have something. a job? Then why does he oh, not have he a job? He doesn't want one. I believe. Come on. I believe come that he on. Left. No, wait, Hold on, Joseph. Agenda. Giuseppe. Hey, agenda. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you Giuseppe <laughs> when you're bad behavior, man. Giuseppe, <laughs> listen to me. I think. I think that he left, and a lot of. Uh, Spurs fans, I'm saying this that he let they, they even want him back because he is a no nonsense. He's not letting the owners and, and everybody above him tell him what to do on a pitch, on a football pitch. And I respect that. Now, sure, you believe so. I, that's what I'm saying. Now, you, I don't believe it. Why, I don't believe it. That's what you believe. I don't believe that. You want to know what I believe? I believe his style of play, the way that he plays in this in this league at this current moment, with the amount of games that are being played currently isn't conducive of keeping a healthy team. That's my true personal opinion. Okay? What? When you have a when you have a style of play, bro, yeah, think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. When you have a style of play that's more up and down, right? When you have a style of play that's more up and down, it's more conducive to to runners, okay? Your midfielders are runners. Your your wingers are runners. You're playing off you're playing off of each other on the counter. When you have that that type of that type of that type of pl pl play, it's more conducive to more knee injuries and more hamstring injuries, and in, 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 over throughout a season when you're playing 50, 60 games, when you're playing a more possession style of football, those injuries are 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 less, and it's proven. It's literally proven between me and your team, and we could go me and your team. We're we're mostly runner teams. Where we have a ton of injuries on our on our Scott side, and then look at what Manchester City and Arsenal's injury record is, where they're more possession based sides, and they have a a, a, a much less a, a much less likelihood of these types of injuries happening. It's just it I, I, I'm not I, I'm saying there's there's more to it, right? There's more to it, bro. Like that's the whole thing with this whole Pochettino thing. There's way more to it. One moment. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we're going to get with Joe back uh, here in a minute. But, I mean, look, I don't agree with them. In, in oh, I just needed to close it. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah, all right, that's good. Um, look, uh, we got a question. The Mighty Win uh, is commenting and said, who would Wab sure. got to replace Poach? Well, that's as simple uh, as that. Ruben Amarin. Ruben Amarin. Easy, easy question. That was my number one option the entire time. The Sporting Lisbon manager has won, back, won two titles in the back, back past three years. Easy answer for me. That would have been the answer for me. Why did uh, Ruben Amarin uh, would have been, Ruben Amarin would have been the guy for me? Now he's yeah. he's won. He's he's, he's uh, managed. Uh, he's Portuguese. He's managed at Sporting. He's uh, he's mm -hmm. he's Sporting right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean. So now I'm asking he why won, why Todd Bowles he's won in, two, in his two out of three titles. That's what that's yeah. like he's a proven winner in my opinion. Yeah, well, proven winner. I mean, come on. Yeah. It, it, I mean, well, what about doing it in the Premier League, man? That's a little bit tougher what, than who's doing it in the Premier League? Who's doing it? Who's doing well, it in the Premier League? Now you're right. Who? Yeah, you got me on that point. I mean, in a sense, yes. Uh with managers, I do I I, I will get you. You you won that battle. That's the yeah, point. That's a quick that's not that's a good, but at least, but there are there are managers that don't. You need to win. There are managers that are doing it, that are making their teams perform better. Uh, United Emery is one of them. He hasn't won sure. anything, but he is fantastic manager. You know, fantastic manager. Yeah, you know, Let's I'm, see how he so does there, there when he has the what Champions about, League and he loses his best player recently. I, though I agree. I agree with that. Now, what about uh, the Wolves manager? He's he's done all right. 
It's all right. You wore yeah. Chelsea. So, but you're trying to be okay. You, but why did Todd Bowley go on and get uh, and actually looking at other championship managers, not only the one you got, Enzo Moresca? We can segue into him. Why did you guys go get? Do you think that he drank from the same water that Pep Guardiola? So he's gonna be the same. Uh, I think that's you know, part of it. I think part of that. I think that there's a there's a mentality part of it with that. Yeah, I think that the the there's a part of it that says he already. He built a system at Leicester, a totally different system to what R Rogers had beforehand. He built it in one year, and he it, he proved that it can work in one year, right? Like that's like I, I, that's the like I'm just if you're trying to, for me to make sense of it, right? Like if you're trying to me for me to make sense of of the signing of of the signing of Enzo Maresca, like he's already proved he proved that he could build a system a more possession-based system that's probably going to be more suited to the players that we have. Um, and he's already managed a lot of the young pieces that we already have too. Like Cole, he's already managed. He He's the person that made Cole a right winger back in the academy. Romeo Lavia, um, I think he might, may have managed Tosin. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, but he was also part of that treble winning team a couple years ago. He was the he was the assistant of, of that treble winning team. So like I'm just right. like, if you're if you're asking me like what the logic what the logic their logic is like what Todd Bowley's logic is it's like those are what I'm getting from it right like like he already managed a few of the players that we already had in Palmer and Lavia and he's like shown that he's capable of building a system very quickly that's just and he just won he just that's won the going. championship that's just all i can say about it I, I don't really have another i don't really have another like uh yeah. like, like what's your what, what is your expectation for chelsea this coming up season i mean you, same, thing as, the, same thing as last year with, you, same thing as last clearly year not happy with six you're not happy no with what are you talking about you want what are you talking about no, I want Europa. I wanted Europa. If if Potch got us Europa, I would have been fine with keeping him. But he didn't achieve his goals. I, I bro, I okay. come from the world of sales. Okay, that's where I come from. I yeah. come from the world of sales. When you have a quota and you have something to meet as a quota, and you don't meet that quota, you get fired. It's that simple, like yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah. It's not really like well, football. Football is based on results, but if you're 12, yeah, uh, in 2022, 20, then if you jump, but that's to not six that's not with, a feasible. With... That's you're you're but there's, you're there's, using there's the 12th with... season, yeah. But you're using the 12th season without context. Like there's no context What's behind saying do? you are 12. We, we just got taken. Well, we were, you were going to be liquidated. We were going to be liquidated that year. What do you, you guys were talking about? Yeah, we were going to be liquidated, bro. What are we talking yeah, about yeah, here? No, but People in the press was always were telling be there, us. Man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, but you, you beyond, may beyond that, that's what I'm saying. Like, we, how, what else are we going to do? Well, it was a, it was Todd Bowley coming in, buying the club. He's the sporting director. He's, he's pretty much the head of everything. And then for an entire year, he's like, I fucked up. And then he goes and he, Puts people in place so he doesn't have to do none of it. Okay, now it's the sporting yeah. directors, the scouting team, and 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 all that in in place. So he's uh, away from it. There's no context. Well, me, uh, you come now, in, you come in with a month left, but own the team. You come in to buy the team. You only have a month yeah. at month into the transfer window, 